Hey guys, it's your boy Keeps Gaming here, and today we're gonna continue playing um, Man of Medan, the Dark Picture. So last time we were on a boat. Um, I forgot their names, but uh, there are two soldiers who got drunk and somehow got. Um, finish off by uh, I think it's something a monster or a ghost somehow the ship was haunted and uh, last episode as well uh, last episode there were a group of friends who are uh, going for a dive and saw a World War II um, aircraft uh, down at the ocean so they dove uh, dove uh, right through there and uh, explored the submerged aircraft so now we're gonna continue because uh, they already went up and we're gonna continue about the story so now that we know that um, uh, this game is about uh, the choices you made so the outcome of the story uh, will be based on the choices that you will be making uh, throughout the game so without further ado let's continue So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide <laughs> the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you had some experience <laughs> with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Oh, that would be so, rad. How does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess Aww. we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. Aww. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. <laughs> The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Ah. I love you, Alex. Ah. <laughs> Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh, maybe they're making out. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> <laughs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. <laughs> oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Can't blame the captain. <laughs> All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Oh, it's a waterproof camera. 
Aww. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, awesome picture. Air rescue service, Conwyn Island. Hmm. What's that? Ah. Yeah. The dead guy. Whoa. The cockpit. Oh, awesome pictures. Awesome uh, to get yeah, the chance to get that. Seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Okay. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Aww. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. Nice cold beer. Hey, hello there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, uh, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone, check it out. That's the best thing to do, I guess. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Wreck this. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry should about that. should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's <clears throat> bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never oh, thought about very that. Very You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here too let's hear it we could all use a good show let's hear it I bet you can spin a good yarn it's kind of messed up actually scare away little bro okay here goes this story is true it had happened right near here in an old lighthouse classic setup wait <laughs> true story where'd you hear this 
If you need to know, <laughs> it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse. Basic ghost story set up. Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> the woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. <laughs> then it was a meat hook. They were slashed <laughs> with a meat hook and hung from the rack. Just changes the... <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood. <laughs> a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so... Who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. <laughs> so the lighthouse no take keeper back. creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy <laughs> on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> it's standard issue That's some regulatory rules. institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. <laughs> I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Kind of cool story. What's next? What the fuck? Are those the fishermen? <coughs> the heck? Yeah. Got him. It's those fishermen. <clears throat> what do they want? They want revenge or something? <clears throat> the heck? Happened to your eye, man. That's one way of keeping us 
quiet. <coughs> now so you okay i think so Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? How the others can get any worse? The bad <laughs> news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. <laughs> hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm a lot of danger. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. <laughs> oh, shit. That's no good. Come on, no! Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck out! Ah, I'll be back for you later. Oh, no. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Oh. Oh. Don't do that, man. Oh. It's kind of hurt. What do you fuckers want? No. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Please, just stop, man. We finish with it later. Pretend. Pretend that you're still tied up. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus, Conrad. What do they want? Shut the fuck up. 
I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? <clears throat> no. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. They want. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, <clears throat> hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about parents what how much money they have Alex I'm so sorry what what is it they took my ring <gasps> Julia oh it's no okay. it's okay <laughs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us Just gotta wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. Oh, you can tell by the you can tell by the sounds of it. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Come on. <clears throat> I think you can do it. Two, three, four, five, six. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? Conrad, just get to the boat. <clears throat> come on, come on. Faster. Gotta go fast. Don't fuck yourself. Tommy, <laughs> now! You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! Nice landing. Faster. Faster. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, we can't catch him with this old junker. The heck? Bring them downstairs. <laughs> Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. What the hell's wrong? Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme là, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. The heck?
Where is his brother? Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Just got that. <laughs> He's okay. All right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain, and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Whoa. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. What a cork in it. Whoa. Sit still, all of you. We can. You, come with me. <laughs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Better be safe. What the fuck? Everything better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? So sorry. Ah, uh, just slip. Because I gotta itch my. <laughs> gotta scratch my elbow. <laughs> Whoa. It's a big storm. This doesn't sound good. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. One. Hey, move it now. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh, oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Not too loud. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now.
Whoa. It's that ship. Whoa. Ah, is that the guy who escaped? The soldier tried to escape. Ah, oh, we're pretty banged up. Oh God. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. What now? Where are you going? You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Mm, that would be great. <laughs> You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. <laughs> Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Whoa. Could use a drink like that. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. If you let us have some. So I guess that's it for now, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next episode. Um, always remember, keep gaming.